Please, I'm Jen, and this is Brownie. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm hoping she'll decide to hang out with me, but if she wants back in her cage, I don't want to force her to, like, stay up here with me and just, you know, hang out all year long. So, but I did grab her some veggies because she was just fed breakfast, and she's like, yo, I'm trying to eat with my herd mom back up. Anyways, today we're here to do a video about bad, horrible things for guinea pigs. I think this is definitely, it's not that I think, this has definitely been touched on before. I just think it's so important to touch on it um, because I think there's so many guinea pig owners who they don't know and then they find come along videos and they learn, you know what I mean? So I think we all have to learn, um, you know, when we didn't, when we went and got, when we got our guinea pigs or rescued them or adopted them or, you know, However, we got them. Um, we didn't know. Well, I did six months of research, and I know a lot of you did. But you had to learn somehow, basically. So, I think it's just very important to touch on it and make it known for people just so they can learn. So, the first thing that is horrible for guinea pigs is a small cage. Your guinea pigs need lots of room to run around, play. So they can, so guinea pigs need lots of room to run and play. They're used to having lots of room. They're social animals. So of course you should have at least two guinea pigs of the same sex in the cage. The bigger, the better for a guinea pig. It's important that they have a large cage. CC cages are a great option. I just want to point that out. Another thing that's bad that I see a lot of newbies doing, especially is getting their guinea pigs a tall cage like a ferret or a rat's cage, for instance. Guinea pigs are not ferrets or rats. <laughs> They're guinea pigs. Um, and they need a nice long cage. And so I'm going to put the proper cage sizes for CNC. If you're looking on at getting one that's already made, I recommend two Midwest cages for two guinea pigs. I think one's kind of small, but that's just my personal opinion. Remember with guinea pigs, size bigger is always better. I think it's important to point that out. Just because I think so many people don't realize, oh, my guinea pig's going to be fine in this cage. But honestly, bigger is always better. Not cleaning enough slash properly. So I clean my guinea pig cages twice a day. I always try to do it no matter what, unless I'm going to be, if I'm even going to be gone for like half the day, I have a pet nanny come in and take care of my piggies and make sure they got, you know, water and fresh hay and all that they need to be cleaned. If you don't clean your guinea pig's pro cage properly or use like bleach in your cage, their cage, you know, clean, that can do a lot of harm to them. You're, you're talking about um, upper respiratory infections, pneumonia, all of those, and it's very, very dangerous for your piggy. And guinea pigs are so good at hiding illnesses. So definitely want to make sure you're cleaning they're caged properly. We use fleece in our home. Our guinea pig cages get fresh fleece every five days. And then we use all, um, it's got like no scent. I'll put it, it's a free and clear, all free and clear. It's got no scent. So it's just, and no dyes or anything. And, um, and then vinegar. Vinegar is a great softening agent. And I think so many people don't realize that. So it's just a good thing to use. You don't want to use anything with strong scents, that's really bad for your guinea pigs. So, um, not enough hay. Guinea pigs need large, large amounts of hay. They just, I have a hay, um, hay sack in every one of my cages, so they always have fresh hay, and then they get a big pile of hay every single day, twice a day. If they need it more often, obviously, I would always give it to them more often. But they need lots of fresh hay, and, um, Many people don't realize they need it just because um, it actually helps their teeth. It grinds down their teeth. Um, so, yes. Um, waiting to take your guinea pigs to the vet if you think something is wrong. I think this is such a big one. I think so many people are like, oh, or they get on Facebook. I see that a lot. Or even like in the comments of people's video. I think something's wrong. Take your guinea pig to the vet. One thing I'm always going to say is always have a savings fund for your guinea pigs in case there's some they get some kind of illness. Um, just because, you know, 
We want to make sure our guinea pigs are kept healthy at all times. Sorry, Brown. I don't want her jumping down. That's not safe for her. So make sure if you think something is wrong, you take your guinea pig to the vet and you have the proper funds available. So not grooming your piggies properly. So every two weeks, I recommend clipping your guinea pig's nails. It's very good for them. Um, you obviously, if guinea pigs' nails get too long, they curl under and then they can like poke into their feet. It's really sad. And so, um, also for like Brownie and Louise, they have long hair, making sure I trim their hair and comb their hair. You know, they got to be taken care of properly. You don't want, I don't want them getting big, large mats in their hair or, um, stinky, nasty hair. But with the proper cage cleaning... They don't get those because they're getting their cage clean twice a day. So, um, hay balls. These make me so sick, you guys. I have seen so many pictures in Facebook groups of guinea pigs getting their head stuck in a hay ball. Because their owners thought it was okay and it was proper. So, I also think that goes for hay racks. There's a lot of improper hay racks. I know some people make them out of like grids, which I think that's awesome. Like these CNC grids right back there. Um, but there's a lot of good hay racks if you're interested in our hay bag. But those little balls, actually whenever I was looking to get in guinea pigs, when I started ordering stuff, I got one. And then when I started doing more and more research, I realized very quickly that they're a death trap. And I, it went right into the garbage. I was like, nope. Having your guinea pigs live outdoors year around. So I couldn't even imagine doing this. If your guinea pig's a pet, it should be treated with respect and love every single day of its life. When you go and get a guinea pig from a rescue or even from a pet shop, which I don't advise, um, you should not end up sticking them outside. They're going to be stinky because you're not taking care of them properly. And, you know, there is ways to avoid, if you're worried about the smell, an air purifier, it's around like $150. I totally recommend them. I have one in my guinea pig room. It's just something I completely recommend. But having them live outdoors, that's a no-no. Guinea pigs are very prone to heat stroke. And I couldn't even imagine. I live in Oklahoma, and right now it's 19 degrees out today. I mean, just imagine how cold those poor guinea pigs would be. I even put snuggle sacks in with my guinea pigs so they could be nice and toasty and warm because I worry about them getting cold and our temp is in our house set to like 72. Okay. Guinea pigs diaper slash clothing. Not okay and not acceptable. I thought we'd give you a cage shot. Browning was kind of all over it. Diapers should never be put on guinea pigs and if you're worried about them having an accident while they're having floor time there's great ways to avoid that by putting fleece down. There's so many other recommendations. That is so bad for their back. Um, clothing, it looks so uncomfortable. They look miserable in it. I feel bad. I do see people put like little hats on them. I think that's cute as long as you're taking them off right away. If you're just doing them for a photo, hey, that's different. You know what I mean? So, um, a guinea pig floor ball. Oh, I get so annoyed that pet stores even sell these. It just makes me so annoyed. It's like, by the way, never ever get your information from a pet store please <laughs> they will tell you you need this floor ball and you need this other stuff that you really don't need and that shouldn't be used so guinea pig floor balls horrible for your guinea pigs back once again floor time great recommendation instead my guinea pigs I try to do a floor time for them every other night so like tonight it's the girls turn along with Tom and Jerry. So Tom and Jerry will go first, then my girls, and so on. So um, definitely I don't recommend those floor balls. Number one, I mean, could you pour, imagine your poor guinea pigs um, back in those? Scented bedding. I see this a lot, especially on Facebook. Oh, I got this scented lavender bedding or whatever scent it is because... You know, it helps with the smell. You guys, that is so bad. Guinea pigs are so prone to upper respiratory infections. It's not even funny. And that's like the worst thing for them. Imagine them breathing that in. That's why you want to use like dust-free bedding. Because 
even the dust can easily, easily make them sick. You know what I mean? Guinea pig wheels from the cage like a rat will or a hamster will? No. No, 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 no. Please don't do it, you guys. Once again, that's so horrible for your poor guinea pig's bath. Guinea pigs need lots of space to run. They need lots of area to just be able to run around and play and have fun. They don't need a wheel to run around. The reason uh, pet stores are going to even sell you that is because, oh, well, you only need this small stinking cage that's like two of these together by one. <laughs> so you can put this wheel in and they'll run around and be happy on it. Uh, false, not true at all. So a guinea pig wheel, no. Having an oil diffuser in the same room as your guinea pigs or even the room next to it. You don't want to do that. Once again, guinea pigs are very prone to upper respiratory um, symptoms and um, strong scents can give them that. So I highly do not recommend them at all. Plastic hideouts. I see these a lot and I used to have them and I'm 100% guilty. Actually, if you notice, I've gotten completely like I don't use them. They're heat death traps. So your guinea pig, especially in the summer with the sun shining in, or even if it gets room, warm in your guinea pig room and then the sun hits it, it's like a greenhouse. So it has a greenhouse effect. Your guinea pig can fall asleep, easily die because they got way too warm. And, um, you know, they got overheated, unfortunately. And it's sad. An improper diet, so feeding your guinea pig with yogurt products, for instance, like those yogurt drops, I see those all the time. People think since they have an orange on the package, it's a great vitamin C source. Your guinea pig should be getting vitamin C from bell peppers and all of that, you know. And some people use drops, so definitely um, recommend, you know, I have child life drops that I give my guinea pigs recommended by my vet but improper diet so chocolate caffeine there's a whole long list you just want to make sure you're feeding your guinea pigs a cup of fresh vegetables every day no more no less i know some people say one and a half cups um go with what your vet recommends i always say talk to your vet have a good vet ready when you get your guinea pig take them to the vet make sure there's nothing wrong with them for instance i think the biggest one besides like the small cage of all of these, there's a lot of big ones in here, is having your guinea pig live alone. Your guinea pig is prone to depression. Guinea pigs are herd animals, so they're like cows. They like to be in a herd. If I were to get one cow and put it out on my pasture, and it would get depressed, unfortunately. They're meant to live together. So for instance, I have five females in here, Brownie, Louise, Selma, um, Peaches, and Cream in this cage, and they live in a two by nine cage and so they love each other they love playing with each other and they're herds they'll follow each other you know they'll act like a herd they'll follow each other around and when we get floor time out they'll create the piggy train which is the cutest thing ever and I know there is special occasions and I want to point this out on rare occasions that guinea pigs cannot live together because they fight or say for instance you may have had a male herd that ended up having a horrible fight and um you know they have to live separate um I completely understand it and I don't want anybody to think I'm condemning them for that because that's the last thing but it's always best to try different guinea pig I know one of the channels I watched she was trying to get another piggy for her pig but she's you know even gone to the point where she's getting a neutered male because the, her guinea pig doesn't do good. I can't remember what channel is it, and I, I apologize. If I remember before I put this out, I will let you guys know. But her female doesn't do good with other females. And that happens, but keep trying. You never know. Guinea pigs have a change of heart, you know. It takes time. You, you know, Even for me to bond my females together, it took time and all of that, so... These are horrible slash bad things for your guinea pigs, you guys. I recommend always before getting a piggy. I know there's a lot of times where you go to the pet store and you see it and you're like, oh my goodness, I want this guinea pig. Do the research. It's not going to hurt. It's best for your guinea pig, for you, you and your guinea pig to have done all the research. So one, you don't have to end up rehoming it, putting it in a rescue, putting it in a shelter or anything like that. You know, remember, 
I always tell people a guinea pig is for at least eight to ten years on average. So do the research because your guinea pig is going to be with you for a long time. You guys got a good eight to ten years together and I think it's so important for people to do research. I see so, especially on Facebook, I'm on a lot of groups. I see so many people four months in to having their guinea pig. I didn't realize the responsibility or, you know, I'm moving. Your guinea pigs can move with you. Obviously, I understand there sometimes you can't get um, a place that allows um, pets, but just remember, guinea pigs are for life. And as their owner, it's your responsibility. It's not anybody else's. So I'm going to end this video for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any of the items I listed, I advise in tossing them. We will be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And don't worry, none of them will be plastic igloos because I'm so against those. So, But make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.